What's up everyone, Nova Explosion. Welcome back to more Shadow Hearts Covenant. I'm back. Metaphor we found Talzio released, and I'm enjoying the heck enjoying the heck out of that game. So as you probably would have expected, Covenant had to take a bit of a back seat. But it's fine because my backlog is like it's actually finally dwindling down. I've had like Co Covenant's been like the biggest backlog on YouTube for the longest time. And now it's kind of caught up. And this is probably, this is definitely going to be the final stream. We should be finishing everything today. We have a multitude of side quests to do. I'm opening up the Solomon's Key to start. Yeah, so we have to finish this up. I think the only, um, we're missing like two crests, I think. One of which is from the dollhouse. The other one I think we're actually going to buy right now in Petrograd. We have to go over to the drunken guy. And I think there was a... Oh wait, actually now I think about it, I don't have 100k, do I? This isn't the guy, is it? I don't have 100k now that I think about it, so maybe I shouldn't do this right now. Anyway, I'm going to list out what we have to do. It's not very much. We have to do the dollhouse, the dog shrine, the final trial for the Solomon thing, which kind of goes in hand with completing Solomon's key. And the Man Festival, which is Joachim's side quest, so it's not a lot. And then we obviously have the final dungeon and the ending of the game, but the final dungeon isn't that long, so it's really just dependent on how long these other side quests take. On how long stream is. We're gonna go over to Paris, because... Off screen, I did the item trading quest, because item trading quest is like... It, it, it's not fun to stream, it's just like, you have to like look for random people and like trade different items to them. It, it's not something that's, like, fun from a playthrough perspective, so I did it off-screen. There's guides out there on how to do the item trading. I'd recommend looking up, like, a game fact so you can, like, look up the whole thing. I did want to show off the final part of it, though, because there's something really interesting with it. And I also did the trials off-screen because the trials were another thing. A lot of them were just, like, random battles. You have to, like... There were some you had to, like, do with certain ring status effects, or some you had to, like, do with certain party compositions. And some of the battles were easy and, like, trivial. You had to fight bosses you fought throughout the game, which was kind of cool. But again, not fun from a playthrough perspective, I feel. Especially with the other stuff we have to do. So I just did it off screen as well. Yo, is this, um, is this Margaret from Shadow Hearts 1? Malkovich is her last name. I'm a little busy right now. Can't it wait for a while? Oh, it's you. Huh? Yeah, I know you from somewhere. Oh, I nearly didn't recognize you with the makeup. How are you, Mark? <laughs> oh, I'm glad I did this part. I didn't actually see what, who it was in the item trading thing, but I saw like, oh, like the final part of it. I figured I'd show off the end of it because it leads to Lucia's ultimate weapon. Don't call me by that name. I'm, I'm undercover. Do you know this person, Yuri? Call me his protector. Huh? No, no, no. We just met a couple of times in the past. I can't believe it bumping into you here. That's my line. I never heard anything from you. I was worried something happened to you. Sorry, you know how it is. You're still in the same line of business. Yeah, well, you know. What about you, sunny boy? With all these friends, don't tell me. <laughs> yeah, that's right. You haven't changed either. If only I wasn't working, I'd say let's go get some coffee or something, but... I know you're busy. We'll bump into each other again. Yes, so. Glad to see you looking so well. We'll talk next time, okay? I love that they put Margaret in this game. Wait a minute, what's that document you've got there? What's this? Some guy who likes mold gave it to me? He gave it to you? That's a British intelligence service in envelope, isn't it? Let me see. No way. Do you... Do you know what this is? Uh, not exactly. Jeez, you're a jerk. Hi, what's the matter? This is a report about a unique bacteria that's harmful to humans. It's not about saving the world, you know. You're kidding. That sounds pretty serious. It is serious. How do you always end up in the middle of a mess? Okay, look. I better take this off of your hands, okay? Yeah, so, long story short. You start, if you remember right, you start with the straw or something. You start with the dried straw. You trade the... There's different pads you can take with the item trading thing. Uh, the thing is, I googled it to where, oh, I wanted to get Lucia's ultimate weapon. You can actually end the trading quest sooner than you're supposed to. But this is for the best results. If you get the research paper, then you give it to Margaret. 
Again, it's really convoluted and complicated. Just look up a guide on it. Okay, leave it with me. I'll dispose of it properly. Oh yeah, I guess you could use this if you're still getting yourself into trouble. Yeah, Nemesis Fan is Lucia's ultimate weapon, which we're not really going to use her, but still good to have. What is it? Apparently it's called a Battle Fan. I borrowed it from the boss of the secret organization a little while ago. She was one hell of a big shot, really full of herself, so I thought I'd cut her down to size. Couldn't figure it out, but it's got quite a story behind it, I think. Okay, thanks. Don't worry about it, let's call it alone. Okay, better get be better be getting back. And Yuri, don't do anything stupid, okay? No promises. I hear ya. Okay, see ya then. No, join my team. I want all your gunware and gun skills back. So, we got your ultimate weapon. We already did your side quest too, so we don't have to use you anymore. In terms of side quests, the only two... Geppetto's is the dollhouse. So, they might force us to use Geppetto. They don't always. Most of the time for the side quest, they force you to use them. Not all the time, though. They did for Anastasia's. They did for Lucia's. They might for Geppetto's. So, we'll probably have to use him. Oh, it's Geppetto looking for anything. Yeah, you can buy Strike and Hit Area Expands here. I think I bought some. I might want to buy a Fountain Rogue for Geppetto because they might make me use them. I'm going for 30%. There's no way I'm going to get 50, especially when I'm rusty at the game. Yeah, it's been a long wait, but you know, what are you what are you supposed to do? Metaphor Refantasio came out and I wanted to focus on it. And I am really enjoying it. And also I um I finished Breath of Fire 4 on Monday. So you know, I was like, yeah, Shadow Hearts Covenant is just going to take a bit of a back seat for now. This is the final stream, so you know, that's the breaks. All right, so we got that done. Uh, we can't do the 100k. There's a crest we have to buy from someone in Petrograd for 100k cash. But, I think instead, we're probably just going to do the dollhouse. That way we can build up money. And also just get another thing done. So, probably going to do the dollhouse. We need to go to the Yokohama streets in Japan. And there was a man in a purple suit. This is the classic. The dollhouse appears in every single Shadow Hearts game. It was in the first one. It's in From the New World. It's pretty much a staple at this point. I think they have one in From the New World, I'm pretty sure. But in From the New World, it's a different one. Because in From the New World, it's in the Americas. Not Eurasia. I think they have a dollhouse, though, in that game as well. Say, that marionette? What, you mean Cornelia? Cornelia, huh? Sorry, it's just that she looks like a doll I saw a long time ago. A doll that looks like Cornelia? Why don't you tell me more about it? Alright, it was nearly 30 years ago. A French doll maker moved into the mansion up ahead. The dolls he made were exquisite. I remember thinking as a child that they looked alive. 30 years ago. French, could it be? And does he still live there? No, nobody's seen him for a long time now. I hear he lost his only daughter to an accident just before he disappeared. I don't know if he went off somewhere with his broken heart or whether he died alone in the mansion. His daughter, huh? I see. The mansion's been left just as it was. If you're interested, you can go check it out. Yeah, in Shadow Hearts 1, the dollhouse linked to Alice. And obviously in this game, it would link to Geppetto because he has a doll. Also, in case you forgot, he's Alice's uncle, which doesn't really mean much. They just kind of put it in there because they wanted Geppetto to have some kind of tie-in with a heroine from the previous game. What a spooky mansion. Geppetto, you really seem interested in that doll maker. Do you think you know him or something? Arietta, welcome to the stream. How you doing? Well, look, sorry, but could you leave this one to me? It won't take long, I promise. Oh yeah, sure. Am I gonna roam as Geppetto? You roam as Lucia in the forest, you roam as Anastasia in the Neon Ruins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Karando's is the Dog Shrine. Alright, so, as is tradition, probably benching Yoaki. We could bench Yuri, actually. I don't know. I could use uh, Yoakim instead. Let's use Yoakim. He's lower level. Oh, I also got Yuri's ultimate weapon, which was Spin Ring 10. 
I did get the Chimera Claw, which is the best weapon for Yuri. I did the Spin Ring 10. It took me a few attempts. But like in Shadow Hearts 1, I just can't do it while commentating, so I just did it off screen. I attempted it on screen, you all saw. I did a lot more attempts in Shadow Hearts 1, but then as soon as I saw it was in Shadow Hearts Covenant, I was like, yeah, there's no way I can do this while commentating. So I just did that off screen as well. Took me a good amount of attempts. Alright, it's everyone's favorite game show. How long will it take Nova to consistently hit the Judgment Ring after having not played for like a week? It has been a week since I touched this game. Other than like last night when I had to do stuff off screen. I kid you not chat, I did everything last night. I had stuff to do off screen, I had a week to do it, and I didn't do it till last night. So, that was a good way to shake off the rust, I guess, but... I was just so busy with, like, Metaphor Refantasio, so... I just completely forgot to prepare for this stream, but I did it last night, so it worked out. I just lost 20 SP. Please die. Yo, Keem, I'm not gonna forget about that miss. Ecstasy. Anyway, I don't know. It. I think a four to five hour stream should get the game done. If I wasn't doing the trials off screen, then it would take a lot longer. And I just kind of picked and choose. Like the trials, I was doing them and I was like, oh yeah, I'm glad I did these off screen. Because they were literally just like, they're fights with enemies and bosses throughout the game, which is neat. But like... Not really necessary. The final trial we will do on screen though. Like I have that unlocked, but it did not seem necessary to include them. So I did not regret doing them on screen or off screen. I made the right call. And some of them were like, hey, clear these battles with the small ring, but don't miss or clear these battles with fast ring, but don't heal the ailment. There were some that were kind of brutal, but they weren't that bad, but they definitely weren't, like, stream-worthy. Like, while doing them, I was like, yeah, I think I made the right call. Like, not including these. Similar to the pit fights in Shadow Hearts 1, where the pit fights were just random. They were just random enemies that come in. I mean, these were different, though, but same kind of idea. These were kind of the replacement for the pit fights in the first game. And I wonder if From the New World will have anything like them. Probably. I'd expect them. I'd expect it to. Get him. By the way, I also buffed Kurando's ring like crazy. I can actually show you after this fight. I gave him a lot of hit area expands. Because he has the mind's eye. So I would have to be like, it's like basically close to impossible. Maybe not impossible. But it's like really hard to miss. Like look at this. I buffed it a lot. Only the fourth area could be a little wider, but I have a good chance of hitting it now because he has the mind's eye, so I wanted to make sure we were getting a lot of damage off because, you know, it helps. By the way, I'm not sure if I'm supposed to be doing like a puzzle. Hi. There's a doll here. It looks like alive. It looks alive almost as if it could talk. Okay. Am I supposed to like anything with it? Not really sure. Why does Geppetto run like this? I mean, it's because he's like 60 something or however old he is, but still. Um. By the way, there are items called Silver Angels, which help Anastasia. I have a few of them, but I'm probably not gonna. I'm not gonna bother. I missed like probably one or two, and I'm probably not gonna bother messing with them because I don't really use Anastasia much, so. Those are items that exist. Looks like his diary. Yeah, I'll read it. July 17th. No matter what I do, this emptiness inside still tortures me. I know what I'm attempting is foolish and a waste of time, yet I keep trying. I'm trying to make a doll to take my daughter's place with her sparkling eyes, her lips, her porcelain skin. July 20th. There's a mountain of ugly failures all around me, vacant stares, lifeless, lifeless lips, cracked skin. As I look up at them, I feel once again my limitations as a doll maker. July 24th. My teacher once told me about a crest that holds the power of a demon. That crest is here in my hand now. Where in the world did I get it? These past few days are nothing but a blank. 
That's not what's important right now. If what my teacher told me is true, my salvation is near. I can use the power of this crest to resurrect my daughter's soul. There's been a change. How long does this go? There's been a change. Some of my failures have developed wills of their own and started talking. This is the crest power. I can feel my spirits lifting. I named the talking dolls. Rebecca, always alone. Ileana, who tells nothing but lies. Gina loves to trick people. Well-behaved Barbara. By Di Diane, Ti Tina, and Emma, who get along so well with each other. My hope has turned to conviction. My daughter will be reborn. All I need now is a vessel of her soul. We're still going. Doll is ready. My masterpiece, a lovely doll with features just of my daughter's. I'll finish the process in the cellar. I put a code lock on the door to keep out the intrusions. At last, I can be with my daughter again. His masterpiece, huh? If it's really him, I'd love to see it. See, you know him, this doll maker. If it is who I think it is. But it said something about a code. Do you want to go down into the cellar? Did somebody say something? I know the code. I can tell you if you want. That doll is talking, just like it said in the diary. Yes, please, miss. Could you tell us the code? I'll tell you the code if you say my name. Your name. Ever since Papa's been gone, nobody ever says my name. It's such a pretty name, too. Okay. Okay, I think now we need to go back to the dolls I saw. And interact with them. I think I had to do the diary first and now the dolls are useful. This doll's name is, what, this one's Rebecca? Because she's alone? Too bad, that's another girl's name. Okay, no, I'm wrong. <laughs> oh no, I get to do a fight. Ow. This reminds me of Nightmare Before Christmas. These dolls, like, remind me of them. They give me that vibe. Ow. Why are there so many of them? That was the combo sound effect. Oh, because I'm getting a combo. Murder! Bum, bum, bum. Good thing you guys get O code. Yo, Akeem. I was hoping for what's his face, Karando. Yo, Akeem's fine though. To get a combo with. GG's well played. Uh, is my Star Rainbow even gonna reach? I'm gonna transform the Sukiyomi anyway. What's up, Raptor? Welcome to the stream. Welcome, welcome. Uh, yeah, Moon Shadow on two of you is fine. Anyway, I was thinking of what the last thing we're going to do is, and I think the last thing we're going to do before the final dungeon is the Solomon stuff. I'm saving that for last. Because I think that's like the highest level of the side quests and super bosses. So that's going to be probably the last thing we do before the Akusa platform. Nice. Cornelia. Look at how she She's a furry now. <laughs> Your deceased daughter, that is your marionette, is a furry. I get separated from my- I got separated from my friends. This could be Rebecca? Oh, hey, G, Barbara and Gina are here, and Emma. Is this Rebecca? That's not my name, Rip. I get to go first, though. Oh yeah, we have the Red Comet power-up with the Wolfman. I forgot about that. Rip. You know what? Goodbye. Can I run? I can't run. It's unfortunate. This could actually be a problem. <laughs> There's like so many of you and I don't even get a turn for a while. This could actually be problematic. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, but you can hit B and E. This has a good range, though. I think if I kill one of you, 
I'm fine. Is then only one would get a turn before Karando? This is Artem Buster, yo Akeem. Ow. Oh, you get to go next. That works. Show them some passion. <laughs> 